Hello YouTube, it's your girl Keisha Laundry and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. <laughs> okay, I got Bella no chance because if you can't go to Bella no chance, then where can you go? I can't, I can't help myself. So Vlogmas Day 7 everybody, period, poo. Okay. Um, yeah, Vlogmas Day 7. I got Bella in the house with me. Faith outside playing with Nunu because Nunu is all punishment. Okay, Nunu out. Nunu free. I told Nunu we had signs saying free Nunu. She said, I don't even know what I did. Hilarious. <laughs> but, um, she actually looked like she grew a few inches since we haven't seen her in a week. She grew in these six days that she was grounded. But, um, but yeah, Mia is out Christmas shopping. And um, I said, let me get this video done before I lay down. No, Bella, please. Your sister knocked it over yesterday. Please don't knock it over today. But um, so yeah, Vlogmas. I'm in it to win it. This is day seven. Seven means completion, but I'm not completed, but I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Um, today's word is stagnant. I had it up. Let me see if, if it still got it up here. Alexa. Give me the definition of stagnant. Okay, so the definition of stagnant is not flowing or running as water, air, etc. Not flowing or running, comma, as water, comma, air, comma, etc. So, um, I chose the word stagnant because um sometimes in life you might feel like you know you're not moving and you know you might feel stuck or you might feel like you you doing the same thing over and over again and you're not getting nowhere sort of like treading water oh, hi. you hot girl you are gonna explode i know you don't want no food now so um so yeah so i just wanted to encourage anyone who feeling that way the um to just change one thing at a time, just take things slow, and you'll see a you'll see a difference. Okay, give, can you give me a moment? Can I finish making my video? Okay, thank you. Go get the cat. Okay. Um. He on the couch. He, we we clipped his nails. My son took the cat to the pet roamer today and got his nail, got the cat nails clipped. Dumb things was claws. Mama, I feel so, did that, did that, did that, did that. Okay, I feel so bad because he climbed up on things with the claws and now he looking like, well, how am I supposed to get up on stuff? I even got like little um, snags in this curtain behind me because he climbs up the curtain. He climbed up this uh, pink shoe rack. He just climb, climb, climb. That cat just go. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, I just wanted to encourage whoever is feeling stagnant in this moment in life that um, things will change. You, you have to do something to change them, though. You, one thing at a time, something minor, you know, um, take a different route home, as they say. Uh, change your routine. Just, just slow and steady things that will get you out of the rut you're feeling. Honestly, I felt stuck. Well, we say as a boot back home. I was stuck as a boot. I, I felt really stuck when I lived in Chester. I felt stagnant. I felt like I kept doing the same thing over and over again. I felt like I wasn't going to get nowhere. And um, I just started making little little minor moves and changes to um, to make this major move. And yeah, so I just want to encourage you that you can do it. You can do it, but it, it takes... You have to do it. You have to want to do it and um, just make small changes. I hate to keep repeating myself. I guess my, my train of thought is stuck. But, yes, stagnant is the word of the day. Uh, it was kind of nice outside today. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. It wasn't too cold. It wasn't too hot. Uh, I encouraged my kids. And my kids see me on TikTok so much that they was out front making TikToks. Even my son was out there. I was like, look at him. We trying to teach him. I look like that. I, 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 I like that. <laughs> we like, no, it's like this. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. 
yes. Um, I did buy some bowls to put up on my porch. Uh, the guy I used to mess with, he the one who decorated the, the, he decked the halls out front all the time. He was the one who decked the halls, so, um, I gotta do it this year, but I'm no way, I'm not, no way I'm putting up all them lights. So, I brought bowls. I'm gonna be bowtastic. This house is gonna be the house of Jojo Siwa. I just bought some red bowls. Um, my porch railings is white, so I'm gonna stick the red bowls up. And I'm probably gonna get some um, some of that red tinsel or you know tree stuff and and make it look like a candy cane. Woo, lasso, lasso, lasso. Yeah, but uh, I was hoping that we had a Pollyanna at work, but we didn't even have a Pollyanna. One of the guys, JP, he said that he was gonna spearhead it, but you know no Pollyanna, so we won't be having or a Secret Santa. We won't be having that. But they are having an employee party. And they start, well, they having an employee luncheon. And they start at noon. And it's on a day that I work. So, I would have gotten off that Thursday morning. It's going to kill me. But it's only for two hours. I'm going to go in and then I will have to work that night. So, uh, it's going to break my sleep. They try to get me to come in tonight as much as I would love to come in tonight. Because this is like, this paycheck is the check, the last check before Christmas actually hit. So, um, as much as I would love to go in, because that really... Well, they only asked me to work for four hours from 7 to 11, but I knew that around this time that Keisha would be settling down. I hardly got any rest earlier, and, um, yeah. So, let's talk about some things. Um, did y'all see that the guy from the NFAC, uh, he got arrested, the head guy, he got arrested for, um, pointing an assault rifle at Secret Service or something like that like when he was in um brianna teller's town you know going to see what was happening um he said that he seen something and he like and it's it's supposed to say in the report anyway that he used his flashlight or the light that was on the 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 gun i don't know but um yeah the people who filed the report actually said that but then like the state picked it up because the charges were dropped but the state picked it up but anyway they got this man as they do all great leaders i don't know the actual details all i know is michi x is pissed that's her brother from another mother but i admire what he did what he doing because um you know it, it take a, a tough rough person to be the one who want to stand in front of black people you know you're going to get some bullets. You know you're going to wind up dead or in jail. You know they're going to do something to you. So it takes a special kind of person to want to lead black people. And not somebody who just sort of want to be in the um, public eye. Because I have mixed feelings about ben Benjamin Crump. I have very mixed feelings about this dude. Like, uh, it just seemed like he show up wherever there's a spotlight. And, and I don't like things like that. I mean, there was a girl who gave this powerful speech at a, um, at a community meeting. And uh, she was she was saying uh, it went viral. She was saying um, I'm not here to be nice. Actually, I think this building will make some real nice low income housing. And you know, she told the the cops to stop using black children as a um, as a photo op. When in a couple of years you'll be looking at them as suspect and possibly shooting them. Well, this girl is being followed around by the cops. And I'm just like, you know, where is where is Ben Crump now? They're gonna wait until. God forbid if something really bad happened to her and then it's a whole bunch of news cameras pointed and then that's when this man is going to want to show up. You know, like really. He not even, he there, but he didn't win for Breonna Taylor. He didn't win for uh, Trayvon Martin. He's, he, you know, like come on man. He just show up and suck the community, suck us, like suck us dry and you know he getting a large chunk of that money, but I have mixed feelings about him because um, he is helping. He is willing to step in and help. I know damn well he ain't doing none of that stuff pro bono because he know it's a lot of money involved in it. Yeah, um, I didn't feel that way about um, Johnny Cochran, but then again, I was young when he was when he was uh, popular. I was young, so um, I don't really know what he did for the people. Only thing I know is that he stood on the side of OJ, and I do know that the lawyer Sean Holly um, was on the Dream Team too, and she's a pretty good lawyer. But uh, yeah, the 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 leader of the NFAC got arrested. This is the man who had all those black men armed marching, marching. What a sight! What a sight! I keep on saying I would love to have a poster of that. And he was actually planning a million gun march with our black men. 
you know, legit guns and things like that. But uh, I recall him saying that people would try to get him to come to their cities to do something that they wasn't even willing to do for themselves and for their cities. You know, come here and, and cause a ruckus. Come here and, you know, take this person down. But what are you going to do? You going to call me in and then, and then run in the house? Are you going to stand next to me? Do you have, you know, the credentials to, you know, stand next to us with an assault rifle? You know, but it takes a, it takes a big man and you already know where it's going. And it takes a big man to lead black people. It takes a big person to lead black people. And a lot of times I'll be feeling like these so-called leaders are just there for the cameras. I feel like they just there for the money, for the GoFundMe's and for the free flights. And, you know, I'm not even going to say the person name, but I used to work with, um, I used to work with Jordan Davis's brother and, uh, this is that was the young man that when I first moved here I worked with Jordan Davis brother. It's dead. She she go through them y'all. I I got them in rotation. But um I used to work with Jordan Davis's brother. That's the young man who was at the gas station and he was playing his music too loud, and um and the white guy shot him shot him dead at the gas station down here. So I used to work with his brother and he used to say like you know all the trips that they would send him on and you know and that's how he used to introduce himself too i mean he was a cool dude i mean just knowing him himself would suffice but his thing would be hey um i'm jordan davis's brother which was odd like that's how now this man define himself and sometimes people get caught up in the whole hoopla of losing somebody or you know um not the moms or anything but it's just it's just sad i hate to see people show up when the spotlight is there i really do and it'd be the same usual suspects you know what i mean i used to always say al sharpton don't speak for me because he just seemed he started seeming real coonish after a while he started seeming real coonish and so did jesse jackson i felt i always felt like jesse wanted to be president bad and for him to go against barack like that you remember he had the hot mic and he said, I'm going, I'm going to get him by the balls or some mess like that. Like Jesse was just jealous. And that's another thing. I was thinking about making that word jealous a, a word of the day because people could be jealous of you and you don't even know it. Like little old me who don't have nothing, you know, uh, I had a friend in my life who obviously was jealous of me. Like she couldn't keep my name out her mouth. She spread lies about me. I, I honestly didn't understand it. I didn't understand it, but uh, but yeah, jealousy will make somebody do some crazy stuff. When I was a barmaid, when I was a barmaid, I would see like a girl come in, she minded her business, and by the end of the night, some girls is like beating her up because she was the pretty girl at the bar. It is it's crazy, and that's when I realized you never know who hating on you. Uh, really, that's when I got that that epiphany in my mind like you just never know who hating on you Mama. you just don't and it's always most of the time it's people close in your circle you know that's why i don't i don't even have a circle y'all i just stay to myself as as lonely as it get uh i got these grandchildren as they say down here the children I have the children to keep me company you know and i rather i rather have children to keep me company than fake ass people in my life for real for real just as Fake people get on my nerves. And I tend to get along with guys better than I do with girls. It, it's it's just, it's easier. It's easier. Men don't wait till you walk away to talk about you. I mean, I actually had a friend who, it will, it will be a group of females. And this was a consistent thing with her. It will be a group of females. She could even have the function at her house, whether the function was at her house or we went up, men up and was out somewhere. First person leave, she talking about them. Second person leave, she talking about them. It's like, what? what's the point? I, I don't like talking about people. I, I'll, I'll speak on what happened. I'll speak on experiences. But to just sit around and flat out dog somebody out for no daggone reason, what's the point? What's the point? Females kill me with that. They really do. Like, you, you really have to have a jealous heart. Say the shit to the person's face. Say the stuff to the people's face. You know? I'm, I'm Bella can't talk. It'd be something else if tomorrow she'd be like, shit. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. But a few of her words have been coming in much more clear 
though. I said, Bella was like, oh, y'all got me messed up. Y'all talking about I got ADHD? But she'll be going to the doctors next week, so I'll keep you up to date on that. Faith have a dentist appointment on the 8th. I can't wait until she go. Um, that girl was still trying to eat some candy. Or She came to my job last night. They dropped me off. And, um... She walking out, she got an ice cream cone in the bag of M&M's. I kindly took them out her hand because I care. I said, girl, you just want to be yuck mouth, don't you? You just want to be yuck mouth. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yesterday my my Vlogmas video took forever to load. It took hours, and that's what happened to me last year. Like, one video, it was, it was taking so long for it to upload. I don't understand. I don't get it. So, um, hopefully this upload before 12 because my video was still uploading when I got to work. Oh, guess what? The guy showed up. The same guy showed up. It was some people in the lobby chilling over by the lounge when I came in. And, um, they, when they dispersed, some went out the front door and some got on the elevator. And then old boy who stole the stuff from the pantry, he go walking up the steps. Like, I was like, uh, I'm looking. He had a box in his hand. And I'm like, okay, wait, I didn't get a good glimpse. But the way he went, he would have had to come right back past me. He had a box in his hand, and he had on a coat. One or two minutes later, because I got my eyes peeled. One or, two, one or two minutes later, he come out. He don't have the box, and he don't have his coat on. And now he's walking in a total different direction, um, a direction that only employees should be going, or we wouldn't even be going, because that time of night, the stuff is locked up. And I was like, hey, excuse me. Ain't you the guy from last night? This fool like, yeah. I said, look, can you just leave? Can you, can you just leave? And he got his stuff and he walked out. 15, 20 minutes later, that dad going scary behind security guard come upstairs talking about, did I just see the guy from last night? I said, you sure did 15 or 20 minutes ago. I asked him to leave and he left. Well, well why did he make it that easy for me? Is it because I'm white? Fool, you got on a whole guard uniform. What you're not going to do is play the race card. What you're not going to do is be able to play the race card. You were scared of that man. You were scared of him the night before and you were scared of him last night. It's just period. Is it because I'm white? No, it's because you soft. It was because you're soft, okay? Soft. Soft as my pillows, I tell you. Soft as a pillow. But, um, but yeah, but other than that, I had a pretty, I had a very smooth night. I don't mind Sundays because I usually work every other Sunday. Anyway, I don't mind Sundays. It really is, it's, it's easy. It's pie, you know, but yeah, I'm going to get off of here because I didn't get much rest earlier. The kids were sleeping in my bed when I came in because Jamia stayed here and uh, I was scared to get in the bed because once some kids is up, they up. So I chilled out in the living room and by the time I felt myself dozing off, here come my grandson. i like, oh, God. And then shortly after, here come this one. And I can't fall asleep on the one-year-old. You fall asleep on the one-year-old and watch what happens, even if it's just a doze off. Here come Fei-Fei. 